Textures and patterns. Patterns and textures. You're going to love this. Hi, I'm Hadass and welcome to Tip Talk. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can creatively use textures and patterns in your design. Let's go ahead. In this episode, I'd like to show you how to dress your design with some texture and patterns. These will add depth and realism to your design with only Canva. I will give you some cool, easy tips and tricks that will make your design much more interesting. So I chose this template, which I really liked its quote. So the first intuitive thing that you would probably do when you would like to add a texture or a pattern is to scroll down here to the background tab. Here you have subcategories and you can find here some patterns and of course some textures. But these are not the only textures and patterns available to you. You can find so many more under the photos tab and the elements tab. What you need to do is let's go to photos and once you type in your keyword, add the word texture or pattern at the end. For example, watercolor texture. Here you get a lot of watercolor textures that you can drag and drop into your design. For example, if I drag and drop this one, I can play around with this photo. One thing I can do is go to the transparency tab and then just swipe it to make it more transparent. Now you notice that the colors are changing and the reason for that is because we have a background color. As you remember, we have this green behind so we can just either delete it and then have a white background or change the color as we play around with the transparency and it changes the texture completely. One other thing we can do is go to adjust and adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, the tint. We can blur our texture which gives it a whole new look. The X process and a vignette. You can play around with all of these to make your texture your own. You can do the same thing under the Elements tab. Let's just copy this. Go to Elements. And here you get a whole new world of watercolor textures. So let's just delete this one. And also delete the pink background. And let's say that I will go with this element. Since it's an element, I cannot just drag and drop it to replace the background. I will have to stretch it and position it to the back. Then, of course, I will have to change the color of my text. But I can play around with elements and make them my background. I don't necessarily need to take a square shape element. I can also use, for example, this one and just stretch it as much as I need. Position it to the back and there you go. You can play around with a transparency and in some elements you can also play around with the colors. Okay, now let's go back to photos and I want to share with you another keyword. Let's say for example we want noise textures. You will get a lot of interesting textures here. So let's say for example, let's delete this element and go with this one once I drag and drop it. Although it is black and white, I can click on this and go to effects. Under effects, I can pick any effect and try and play around with the colors. For example, if I will go to color mix, you have a rainbow effect. Once I click on that, my whole texture becomes colorful. I can also adjust some features here. Once I edit this, this looks like a whole new texture. Once you're done, either cancel or apply. Anything you do with the adjust also changes your texture. Let's go to the elements. Here you get some very interesting textures. Let me delete this and see what happens if I click, for example, on this one. It's an element, so I will just have to stretch it, position it to the back, and change my text to a different color, let's say red. Change all to red, and then you have a whole new design. And here you get these foil, gold, shiny textures that you can use, that once you drag and drop them, 
Your whole message gets a whole different vibe. Let's see a few more. Water texture. Once I go to transparency, you'll see how my turquoise color underneath appears and then the water looks like a pool. Once you set the transparency really low, everything changes. Let's change this to, for example, this kind of blue or green or yellow or pink or red, whatever you decide. Now you can do this also by adding the word patterns. Once you change the word texture to patterns, you will have many more options. Let's go to elements and search for pattern alone. When you do that, you get some very interesting patterns. Let me just delete this and demonstrate. For example, I can use this zebra pattern, position this to the back, and of course, edit the color of my text. Use transparency if needed, and you can play around with patterns of all sorts. Now let's go to photos and search for patterns under photos as well. Well, I can go on for hours, but you get the idea. So I'll just keep on playing around and use all sorts of different things that I really, really like. And I can also use some of these and some of these and some of these. Oh, wow. I love this one. That's it. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you all in the next tip talk. Bye for now. Wow, thank you Adas for these precious tips and thank you for watching this video until the end. I have two playlists right here for those of you who want to go a bit deeper and keep learning. This one right here is a collection of step-by-step -step Canva tutorials and this one gathers all of our Canva Space webinar recordings where Canva experts teach about all sorts of topics.